Many years ago, there was tell of two fiends in human form. Man and wife, who exacted monstrous gruesome deeds in nearby Wenlock village. School teachers they was, and on the surface, as with many things, they seemed as nice as pie. The years they were murdering the youngins. Especially them they thought badens. Considered it a service they did. Thought that the Lord Almighty would be approving of their deeds. Once done, they dispatched their young victims in the wailing well. Some went in dead, some weren't so lucky. You get close enough, you can still hear the cries of them innocents. Caught red-handed they was. Uh, a boy seen them carrying their latest victims up to the well. The man was strung up and buried like a dog. The woman, she made a run for it, but only as far as the well. She then cut her own throat from ear to ear and threw herself down before they could lay hands on her. And now they walks back and forth to the well as if the devil hasn't thrown tin corpses down there for all eternity. Legend has it they is waiting waiting for their next baton to send down to a dark and lonely grave. All right, lads, fire lighting. Now, I want you to have a good look round, see if you can find plenty of dried twigs and kindling, but don't wander too far. You should be able to find everything you need in the immediate area and then find a suitable place to build your fire. You should all have your own flint. If anybody doesn't have theirs, they'll have to see me. Oh, and you three, I want you to stay exactly where you are. Don't move from the spot. But, sir. But nothing. I want the three of you to sit there and think about what you've done. Nobody moves, you hear me? Or there'll be hell to pay. I can't believe we're messing out of fire lighting. The one good thing on this stupid trek and we're stuck here. Happy now, are you good? Pleased with yourself now, are you? You didn't do anything. Like heck you didn't. Even so, it's not worth it. You're taking his side. He's the one that got us into this bother and you say he's not worth it. He stamped on a field mouse and put him on a woody sandwiches. Hope Jones is gonna send us all home. Anyway, I didn't say it was you. You looked at us. What if Woody had eaten it? I wanted Woody to eat it. He's a greedy, fat pig. But he might have died. Who asked you? Anyway, fear last seen him die. Come on, Wolf. Let's do the squealer in while Hope Jones isn't looking. Hey! We'll tie him to a tree. And no one will ever Stop find it. it. I bet no one will even notice it's gone. That'll teach him for snitching on us. Stop it! Or you'll do what? We'll show you what happens to snitches around here. Sir, watch it there, you nearly had me over. Sorry, sir. You have been poking around in them woods where you shouldn't? No, sir. There's dark spots in there, spots that lads like you shouldn't be a-poking around in. You can't outrun me, good. I've got you now. Oh, I see it now. Being chased, are you? 
That ain't no way for responsible scouts to carry It's on. a friendly game, sir. Arthur's a sport, we had a chase, is all. Well, you're good sport. He looks awful pale to me. Tell me, young sir, if I were to take my leave, would these do hurt you? I've told you already. He's all right. I saw you have. But I'm not sure I believe all that falls out of a mouth like yours. Now you hold your blaspheming tongue till this lad has had his say. These two put you in fear of your skin. You a liar, Arthur Good, you're a goddamn liar! Now you hold your blaspheming tongue. Oh, you do what? Go on, old man, I'd like to see you try. By the devil's own hand. I see a darkness in your eyes. One that goes right to your core. Get off me! You listen up, man. If you don't cure your wicked ways, the devil's gonna come knocking on your door before you know it. Get lost. That boy treads a dark path. You see, you two don't go following him. Best he does it alone. Good day to you both. Twins. You should be able to manage it like you are, eh? Thank you, sir. I say. Boys, have any of you seen Arthur's group? I shall swing for that wretched Judkins. Hey, not so fast, Arthur. What's your rush? How far are we from camp? Wait for me, Arthur. Get lost, Wilf! Just shove off and leave me be! What is it? Shh! For her to me. Yes! Got him! You great big sissy! I've had enough of you, Judkins! I'm sorry, Sally, I shouldn't have got angry. No, you should have. Let's just shake hands and head back to camp. Come on, boys, let's have a look down here. Stanley Judkins and gets away with it. Thank goodness, Wilfred. Where have you been? The dungeons after Arthur. I tried to fetch them back. Well, where are they now? I don't know. I got lost. They ran off. Well, where did they run off to? I don't know, sir. I couldn't keep up. They came this way, but I got tired. You're not much of a tracker then, are you, Wilfred? Well, rest up, boys. Let's see if I can't get our bearings. Go 
No, please, help! Now hold to still and stop struggling. talking about? I, I saw a woman. You think I'm simple, good? I think we should go. I don't like it here. <laughs> Any ghosts down there? Any ghoulies? See? Nothing down. There. Boys, stay there. Look at me. What's happened to you? Where's Stanley? 